For the remove session button here, what we need to do is that we need to remove the alarm. We need to remove the session, which means that we will let the user surf the internet freely without any time limit. So if the user starts this session and then clicks on remove session, it's going to remove that time that he has inserted here and he or she will be able to surf the internet without any time limit. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to add an event listener for the remove session. So remove session add event listener, click event listener. And the callback function. And now inside the callback function, what we need to do is that we need to remove the alarm that we created here. And remember that the alarm name was named session1. Therefore, we need to find this and then delete it. And using Google Chrome APIs, it's pretty simple to accomplish that. We can use the chrome.alarms.clear. And what this does, what this clear does, is that it removes the alarm. Therefore, I'm going to use it, and it takes two parameters. The first one is the alarm name, which was named session1. Session one and a callback function. And inside the callback function, you need to let the user know that he or she can now surf the internet freely and the time limit was deleted. Therefore, I'm going to say here alert you can surf the internet freely without. And now in our extension, if I set this to, let's say, one minute, start session, and then click on remove session, it's going to tell me you can serve the internet freely without any time limit, which means that the clear function has been executed. And now I can serve the internet freely, and there is no limit.